In the summer of Japan, I noticed something quite interesting while walking through the park. A certain type of white flower was attracting what I thought were hummingbirds. Now, I'm from Australia and I've never seen a hummingbird before. And I wasn't really able to get a close look at that time, so I searched online. Does Japan have hummingbirds? No, it doesn't. So what could they be? My next question was, is there some sort of hummingbird moth? Yes, there is. This is the hummingbird hawk moth, or Macroglossum stellatarum, a species of hawk moth found across Asia and Europe, and a fascinating example of convergent evolution, where two different species develop similar features. In this example, birds and moths that have evolved similar flight and feeding patterns. It seems obvious in hindsight that these were moths, but apparently it's quite common for them to be confused with hummingbirds. I was delighted to learn about them, but found that they are almost impossible to capture on film. That is until I bought my new camera in October, which could do about 10 times slow motion, and I haven't really been able to show the elegance of this elusive insect until now. Here's what they look like at normal speed. Hummingbird hawk moths, or suzumiga in Japanese, are only in my area in summer, so I only had a few weeks left to capture some to make this video before they disappear for the year, so I hope you enjoy it. In Australia, we see butterflies as a symbol of beauty, and I fondly remember seeing blue morphos and monarchs in my garden as a child, or even visiting a butterfly farm to walk around in a greenhouse through hundreds of them. So it really surprised me to learn that most people in Japan find them abhorrent. Anyone that has spent extended time in Japan will tell you stories about the chaos that breaks out the moment a moth flies onto a train in the morning, but you'll also see people gather to watch fireflies or families taking their children out to parks to catch bugs. So I'm not quite sure about the animosity towards butterflies and moths in particular. If you know why this is, or if your home has a similar reaction, let me know in the comments. And if you enjoy these short videos from Life in Japan, be sure to subscribe for future episodes and share with friends. Until the next one, peace.